Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is educational code forces round 159 due to and we're gonna solve the first problem that is binary imbalance. Let's see what the problem states. So we were given a string S. It is consisting of uh, only numbers like 0 and 1. So they are also telling that uh, like 0 and 1 means it can be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, anything or 1, 1, 1 like that. So in one operation, they are telling that you need to choose an index i between the first index and the uh, length of the string minus 1, that index, the last one. Then uh, you have to take two consecutive characters, two consecutive positions and check for uh, the what the equality of the strings. So if both of them are equal, then you can insert 1. Suppose if both of them are equal, you can insert 1. If both of the characters are different, you can insert 0. So if both of the characters are different, you can insert 0 here. Okay. And in this also, suppose if you have inserted 0 here, this 1 and 0 can also give birth to a new 0. So the 1 and 0 is different. So you can also put one more 0 here. But what is our end goal? Our end goal is we can perform this operation any number of times. And we have to report that is it possible for us to uh, make the number of zeros in the string greater than the number of ones in the string. So let's see this with the help of an example. What are all the possible scenarios? There can be scenarios where all the numbers are zero, right? All the characters are zero. All the characters are one. And uh, there can be mix also 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Like it can keep on going. And uh, so let's check for the first one. So our condition is if number of zeros are greater than number of ones, then you have to print yes, else you have to print no. Okay. Now, so they also said that it should be strictly greater. It's not greater than or equal to, it is strictly greater. So if the number of zeros are already greater, I can simply print yes, right? I don't have to perform any operation. Now. Is it possible for me to make the number of zeros greater here? They already told that if both of them are same, you can put only one. You can never get a zero out of this if all the numbers are one. So this is no. Let's see here. Here how many ones are one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones are here and four zeros are only here. So number of zeros are greater than number of one? No, right? So is it possible for us to make a new zero? It is possible because here if you see 0 and 1, it is different, so you can add a 0 here. 0 and 1, again different, you can add a 0 here. Similarly, 0 and 1 is different, you can add a 0 here. Again, 0 1 is different, you can add a 0 here. Now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It became 8, right? So if you want, you can add how much number of zeros you want. You can. It will be 0. So even if it is like only 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, everything, this 0 and 1 can give birth to a new 0, this 0 and 1 can give birth to a new 0, the number of zeros can be more. So from this we understand that if all the numbers are 1, the, this condition is never possible or else it is possible. So in the example also, if all the numbers are 0, it is possible. If all the numbers are 1, it is not possible. If all the if any of the number is 1 and any of the number is 0 also, it is possible. So how do we do the code? Code is uh, very easy. Like initially we can default it to no. And then in the for loop, we can say that if any one zero comes in the string, then I can simply uh, assume the answer is yes and come out because we know that right? we already proved it. So we also know that this is the solution that is being submitted and accepted. So if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. And until then, see you in the next video. Thank you so much.